Now then, welcome back to another, well, actually, a brand new episode of Ragecraft. Ragecraft 3, with Nemgo taking on a CTM map for the first time, well, at least in our recording history. Get out Ow! You're messing about. I know what you're no, up to. I'm you're like, just what are you to... looking at? And then we've done that joke so many times before. We can't do that joke again. We're allowed to use that joke at least once everything. Once every series, we're allowed to use the joke of what are you looking at when you're in F5 mode. What are you looking at? <laughs> well, this CTM map is fairly new, Ragecraft Three, as opposed to Ragecraft One and Two, which are older. <laughs> Uh, we are trying it out for the first time. It is made by people and tested by people. Let's uh, just the, the show the signs. Uh, the Prophecy version 1.3 made by Helicio for Minecraft version 1.8.8, which we are currently playing on. We should and call him Satan by the end of this. And there's stuff like this. I have heard it's a bit of a Vex map. Uh, it's a CTM map and that's typically a vex map to start off with but still here we are and we're going to get started uh, expect to see us bumble our way through the map as best we possibly can uh, we have spawned in some steak because i was starving because we were on the server looking around and doing things checking things were working all that before we got started right. so Been i'm going to throw my steak away <clears throat> i've been mine beforehand clear my inventory and get through Please make sure to read the following signs and books carefully. I promise can, it won't take long. Can, can we go quick? Because there's a creeper over there. What Creeper over there? Oh, wow, over. why is there a creeper in the spawn area? I don't know. It's not uh, exactly that uh, light. Uh, rules. Pink. Let's have a look. One. Never set your difficulty to peaceful. You've activated the death counter. Nice. Uh, this can break the map irreversibly. Do not use cheats or mods that give you an unfair advantage. No Guys, villager trades. Boring. No villager Just trades. Out, Do not use the nether or use glitches to move through bedrock. You can what? use ender chests, but you can't not allowed to build or place them. Do not break or mess with the monument. Aside from these exceptions, you may break, break place and craft anything you like and whatever it takes to survive. So we can use the ender chests, but we're not allowed to make them. We can't break and mess with the monuments, and we can't use glitches to move through bedrock. We can't use mods that give you an unfair advantage, but we could potentially install um, mods that enhance the game slightly uh, from client-side performance. Um, no villager trades involving emeralds. That's a oh, weird one yeah. to add in. And we can't be on peaceful. Peaceful was sort of a given anyway. You don't go on peaceful, do you? Well, when you play I've on seen map? it, yeah. You, you, did, did you know on that book? I'm on that book. Main objective, you must complete the crystal monument by placing 16 crystals. Crystals oh, are like custom... crystal maze. If you, if you get in a room and you get locked, do I have to buy you out? You have to get 16 crystals. Crystals are customised stained glass blocks found in chests around the map. Do not craft your own crystals. Try to place as many emerald blocks as possible on your bonus monument. You will receive a unique reward for each emerald you place. You may craft emerald blocks for the monument out of emeralds. Okay. And you've done this to set the death counter. That's cool. And what have we got over here? The map has been thoroughly tested by more than a dozen beta testers. Unfortunately, Minecraft... Blah, blah, blah. Random bugs. Uh, this map contains a lot of command block assist mechanics, sub-objectives, and items with special abilities. Make sure to read all books and signs that you find important information and hints are often hidden in lore text, but they are usually easy to figure out. Most texts are short and concise. Yes. Uh, additional hints is never trust a chest. Never trust a chest. That's the hint. Multiplayer information is this map is resource intensive and requires a good server. Make sure to at least have 8 gig of RAM on your server as well as 4 gig for yourself. Caution, do not play on a Spigot server. Whatever a Spigot server is. Spigot to you too. Spigot. And what we got over here? Recommended settings. We've already checked through all this stuff, haven't we? Yep. Chunks, normal, fast, and clouds off. Yeah, we've done all that. And required settings. You must use these. Uh, GUA scale. Why is that a required setting? I have no idea. I don't know. Render distance, eight or more. Memory, difficulty. We've got difficulty. What is the difficulty set on? Normal. Normal. Okay. 
version particles, all that good, good stuff. And we've, it? we've got it? cake. Let me present this. What we got cake? What? There's cake there to eat if we're hungry. I'm guessing at the start. Oh, here. there. Ready to start the map? It's dark. I'm scared. Oh, there your face is there. Um. Ooh. Okay then. So wow, look at this place. Ah, oh, cool. How awesome does that look? With all the greenery stuff hanging over the edges there. It's pretty right. cool, isn't it? And it goes on through more caves. Excellent. Okay, this is what we like about CTM maps. The actual quality of the crafting and everything in it is amazing in CTMs. Go uh, swimming. Go swimming. Okay. There is no reason. reason to go into the ocean. Or go back to the ocean. Is that what it said to you? <laughs> Ooh, I'm having that. So we're allowed to break anything and do anything we want, so we should get wood and all that kind of stuff. Do you, do you want to come and get, like, this sword and stuff? Sword and stuff? Oh, whoa, there's, whoa, a, whoa. there's a... You've got the sword and stuff. Get on him. Get on him. Pass him back. There you go. you got something. There's, an, there's a sword in there for you. There you are. And some apples. Or an apple. And some torches. Hardwood axe. What are we going to use the zombie flesh for? Eating? Nah. I don't know. Can After a long up? journey past the great sea, you finally return home. Looking around, you cannot shake the feeling that something is wrong. The sky looks darker than usual. It's just gone night. Um, <laughs> at this time of day, there is no wind, no noises at all, no birds or critters, and yet you feel like something is watching you. Something is watching you, ego. Yeah, there is. There's like seven creepers. Well, don't let them kill you. We need to collect wood from this area then. That's the idea of this first part of the quest then, I'm guessing. Wood and melons. Melons. There's some wood. And whatever that was that fell on the floor I, I love it how I managed to like kill the creeper. Like, I used the creeper to hack down the tree. Okay, I didn't actually get any wood from it, but still. Did you end up with a, a special axe? I did. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, It's got efficiency. Efficiency. Well, you start with the wood, then. You start with the wood chopping, and I will me. have a look around gonna and protect you. Gonna be my hero, Nemi. And I'm going to get all of this uh, melon as well. This is kind of like our starting point, so we should gather the resources and replant saplings and that kind of stuff. Because the chances are we'll have to retreat back here when the time comes that it's getting too difficult ahead. Um, I have it's seen... A zombie coming. I'll go get it. You, you, you just... Where are you? So I'll do it. Where are you? I hear you fighting him. It's okay, I got it. Thanks anyway. My hostile creature noises aren't very loud. Let me just change that up. you want to turn them up? I might want to turn them up, yeah. yeah just because just, just I think the last time I used vanilla... Uh, and I was at the Enderman farm on the Hypermind server. And, uh, yeah, it was a bit noisy, so I turned my sounds down. Okay, so now what? We adventure forward, sir. Adventure. Okay, I've got one piece of wood. Have you got a decent amount of wood to keep us I've going for a bit? 32. That's just good. That's good. Can you throw a few my way? Not at all. Please. Okay. We have to work as a team. Team Nemgo on this challenge. We must be uh, very, very good, Team Nemgo. Okay, and I've got some blocks. I've got some torches, so we're good. Uh, so what's up the road? Oh, there's a house up ahead and a really cool waterfall. I wonder if this is supposed to be our Whee! home. I'm checking around to make sure. There's also cobblestone in the floor. However, the cobblestone is... Sp uh, sp um, yeah, thingy blocks don't have them. Yeah, so we can't use the cobble to make tools because special it's got, items there for it's you. It's got silver fish in. What special items? Ooh, frost trap. All mobs around this trap receive slowness and wither. Kind of cool. And special items. I will read the book. Uh, there are dozens of items with special abilities in this map. Having too many of those items can cause. Uh, some FPS issues, which is sometime, something you should keep in mind for the rest of the map. The traps in this chest have an infinite amount of uses, even though it looks like there are only one potion per, potion per stack. So don't be afraid to use them as often as you like. Do not throw multiple of them in very quick succession, or they might disappear. It is a known unfixable bug. So, in other words, this frost trap is like a magic spell, and we can throw it 
and we just get another one. <gasps> Look at that. That's cool. What? Look at that. I missed it. I was... Ooh. And it's not affecting me. It's not affecting you, I guess. Let me throw one at you, see what happens. Nope, not affecting us. No. Nope. Hey, it's only it's only ah, you throw it and my other one disappears, so it's only a trap in one location. Oh, that'll be interesting. That's pretty cool. So you move your trap basically, that's pretty cool. Have you got one? Yeah, I've got one, yeah. Uh you you've took two actually, haven't you? Oh yeah, I have actually, yeah. Yeah, probably don't want to have two in your inventory as they are not needed yeah, to catch. be. I can't put it away. Uh, I can put it away, I suppose. Okay. I'll put well, it away. Do your, do your legs not work? I, I was like, you can't throw one at me and expect me to put it away. That doesn't work. Well, that's cool, though. I like the fact that it's got these cool little features in. That's nice. Like magic spells that you can pick up along the way. That's epic. There's a sign there for you to read somewhere. A sign for me to so, read? So I haven't seen it. Oh, is this going up to another building? Oh, this is another cool, cool building, look. This, the sign here. Uh, this is Dalron's Tower. This this one here? Like, no. That one right there. Okay. This big one. Why don't you read it? Have I got to read signs? That's too much like hard work. White Crystal, Valley of Blood, Nine Emeralds. What? What? Four? Where? I don't know. I don't know. Are you just having to wander around? I'm going to have a look yeah, in this I'm place just, and see what we get. I'm having a Google. You're having to Google around. Okay, well, we've got uh, nothing in there. We can break all these blocks and places as we need to. Is this a trapped chest? Doesn't look like it. What have we got? An antidote removes one poison no, level and potion effects. My, 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 my axe is broken. Nice. Okay, let's see. I'm going to waste one, maybe. Yes, they are not magical items that stay and remain, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. I'll just Is have one in my inventory. Yeah. There's crafting tables around uh, in the first house, I think. I'm going to go up this ladder and see what's up here. Uh, no mobs spawning. That's a nice thing for an early part of the game. It's good. And right up in the upstairs, we've got a little bit of cake, uh, lots of bookcases, and a spare sword. Some fish and some helmet. There's a there's a some helmet. Um, do we have to set our spawn? Do we have to? I suppose we should. I don't know about us having to. Because we got the beds here, haven't we? That's a good idea. Then that's a good place to start setting our spawn. Otherwise, we'll spawn back somewhere else, won't we? Okay. So upstairs is I'm pretty sleeping. empty. <laughs> upstairs is emptied out. I'm just checking to see if there's anything else upstairs before I come right down. You're just setting your spawn. There's an enderman just sort of hanging around. And I'm going to take all these potions and stuff as well. And a chest. Because wherever we go, that's where I want to put chests and stuff. There we go. Uh, oh, there's nothing in there. Did you find a bed somewhere? Yeah, there's a bed in the... In the other the, house? Yeah. There's nothing on top of those. Right, I've got everything out of this place. I'm going back to the house now where you are. And we'll set spawns, and that will be a good starting point for everything. It seems to be a long night. Have you noticed? All right. Uh, where's the beds? Where's the beds? Hold on, where'd you get all that from? What? I made you a sword, and you got fancy pants on. I got all sorts, yeah. I'm There's gonna... monsters nearby now. Yeah, I know. I'm going to throw things that I'm not sure I'm going to need into there for future reference. Monsters, where are you? I'm going to throw all that away. I don't need any of that. I don't really need the wool. I'll keep the dirt on me. I'll keep the clay on me. I'll keep the wood on me. Shoot! That might be an explosive creeper beside you, though. Whoa! I'm going to shut these doors just in case you... Right, I've reset my spawn. Do you want to make it day? Should we sleep and make it day? Oh, that was scary. Before we die from stuff. There we go. And let's see if it actually makes it day. Is it doing it? Is it doing it? Is it doing it? Well, hey. So, viewers, everything you need... No. Nope. No, it hasn't. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. Yeah. So, it's constant night. That's good for spawning objects and spawning things. Yeah. So, viewers, everything should be in the description below if you want to check out the links to the, pa uh, the map and all that kind of stuff. They will be available to you in the description of our videos. Uh, videos going up on both our channels on our kind of regular schedule of uh, Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. 
so you can enjoy all of the Nemgo action from uh, now oh, on. Back off now, back off now. Wait, there's a witch. Put your back. Ah, there's yeah. a baby. He's got my back. That cow bag has slowed me. I've just slowed her, so that's fair. Let's go, let's go, bro, let's go! Whoa! Don't you think you're hitting? She's got dead. that one. She's got I that one. Her. We got her. We we are boss. We are sorted we are, at this. We are like a dream team. There's a big place up ahead. Oh. I think we should make it to that first ladder as fast as we can. I'm gonna do There's it. There's coal. We're just gonna passing by as well. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Whoa! A skelly just behind us as well. Let's go. Let's go. 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 I'm in your head. You're go. poisoned, then, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh wow! Look at the place. Look at the place. Oh, lag spike. Yeah, as you came upstairs. Yeah, me too. Uh, okay, cool. There's a place. There's a bridge that's out to get over to the town. Oh, uh, we, we can jump that then. You reckon? If not, we can climb up that water. Well, we can lay blocks. We're allowed to lay blocks. It's fine. Whoa, you missed me. Ah, you got me that time, you little shitbag. I get him. Um, I'm considering I, putting torches down, but well, I don't I really see this. Just about to say, I don't think there's really a need until we st get to an area. And there's all this glowstone as well. We could break glowstone and get glowstone and place glowstone blocks. And there's loads of wood to make charcoal and all that kind of stuff. But for right now, let's just see where we go to get somewhere, and we can Ow. always we can always wander back. I don't want to be a pincushion all my life. All my life, I've been searching for something. Something never comes, never turns oh, to nothing. Bloody arrow in my backside, I'll tell you that much. Well, so far, so good. We're doing good, man. We're like pro gamers. Ooh, what's this up here? I don't know. I was about to find out when I got a horde of zombies against me. Well, I think. And some spiders and things. This might be a good place to, uh, yeah. to uh, camp out a little bit. I've just lost my sword. Did and you? there's a creeper coming. Uh, I don't have a spare. That creeper can climb vines. The creepers shot. climb vines. That's it. Yeah, awesome. Uh, well, that looks like a nice place for lots of mobs to be a hiding white, out a, in. A white wedding. And then, 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 white wedding. Um, but I don't really fancy it myself. We could, We could circumvent the way in by going that way. Well, whatever we do, we're going to have to do it next time. Oh, is that the end of the first episode? Yeah. Okay, well, tune in and we'll just carry on from where we left off. We'll see you in the next episode of Ragecraft 3. Thank you very much for watching, folks. See you later, guys.